بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو دس از دی فرسٹ پارٹ آف دی ایٹ لیکچر آف اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ پروبیبلٹی تھیری ان پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ میئر آف ڈسپرشن ان وچ وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ دی ریلیٹو اینڈ ایبسلوٹ میئر آف ڈسپرشن which include the range, quartile deviation, mean deviation, coefficient of quartile deviation, coefficient of mean deviation, variance and standard deviation and coefficient of variation. We will continue with the topic measure of this version and we will today discuss the properties of the variance. As we already know that variance is the measure of the variability in the data. So there are some properties of the variance. The very first property is that variance of C where C is some constant is always equal to 0. So whenever you are going to find out the variance of a constant it will always equal to zero why is it so because variance is usually used to find out the variability in the variable variance variable is something which changes and constant is something which remains the fixed so when you are going to find out the measure of this version which basically measures the variability variance measures the variability so c is a constant and it always remains the same that it is fixed so what would be the variability in the constant obviously it should be zero so variance of a constant is always zero Similarly, if x is some variable and you multiply some constant c with it, then the variance of the c into x will be c square into variance of x. Or uh, if you divide the variable with some constant x over c, so it would be 1 over c square into variance of x. This uh, shows that variance is affected by the change of scale. As you already know that whenever you multiply or divide something to the variable, some constant to a variable, so the scale of the variable will change. In this case, we are multiplying a constant and in this case, we are dividing a constant. So in both cases, the constant came out the square time and uh, the variable uh, has its variance that is variance of x so variance is always affected by the change of scale and let's suppose that x and y are some two variables then variance of x plus y will be equal to variance of x plus variance of y Variance of x means that the variation in the variable x plus variance of y which means the variation in the variable y plus 2 times covariance of x and y. What does this covariance mean? Uh, as you know that variance of x is the, is the measure of variability in the variable x. So covariance means the combine variability in both variable that is covariation whenever one variable changes what would be the effect on the other variable so this is called the covariance and uh, this happens when x and y both will be dependent as it is obvious that 
covariation will exist if both x and y will depend on each other. If both x and y are independent, then it is obvious that this variation, covariation will be zero. That is, if both the variables are independent, then x is not affecting the y and y is not affecting the x. So, there will be no combined variation. So, the covariance between x and y will be zero. But when x and y are dependent, that is one variable is affecting the other variable, then the covariance will exist. Property number 4, variance of x plus b or x minus b, where b is some constant, is always equal to variance of x. This happens because this happens because the b is the constant and this would be equal to plus variance of b plus if here we have x plus b, then here also we have x uh, plus. And if we have x minus b, then here we ha will have minus 2 times covariance of b and x. So this would be equal to variance. Of x. As you know that variance of a constant is always 0. So variance of b is 0. Plus minus. If here we have x plus b then here we would have plus. And if here it is x minus b then we will have minus here. So as both are different things. B is a constant and X is a variable. So, there will be no covariation between them and obviously this will be also equal to 0. So, what we are left with? We are left with variance of X. So, this property means that whenever you change the location of the variable by changing the location of the variable, it means that we are adding or subtracting some constant in a variable. So, x plus b or x minus b, the result would be variance of x. Similarly, in the property number 3, if we have here x minus y, then we will have minus here, variance of x. Minus 2 times covariance of x and y plus variance of y. This will be the case when x and y are dependent. That is, one variable is affecting the other variable. For example, if x is the number of hours you exercise and y is the weight. So, as you increase the number of hours you exercise, the weight will decrease. So, there is a negative relationship between uh, both the variables. So, the covariation will exist. And similarly, if uh, x is the uh, number of hours you study and y will be the marks of your exam, so, both are positively or directly related. There will be positive covariation between them. So, this is the way to represent the covariance between x and y. But this would happen only when both x and y are uh, affecting each other. If both x and y are independent, that is, one variable is not affecting the other variable by any mean, then this covariance will be zero and we will be left with variance of x plus variance of y. Either we are finding variance of x plus y or 
variance of x minus y if x and y both are independent then it would be always equal to variance of x plus variance of y so these are the four properties of the four main properties of the variance and similarly you can write it in this way as standard deviation is the under root of the variance so the Standard deviation of a constant a is a constant is always equal to zero. Standard deviation of x plus a or x minus a where a is a constant is always equal to standard deviation of x. As variance and standard deviation are not affected by the change of location. And whenever you multiply a constant it would be, would be equal to a into standard deviation of x. As standard deviation cannot be negative, here we have the a and standard deviation of x plus y is equal to variance of x plus variance of y if x and y are independent and obviously there would be under the root and if both are dependent then if you are finding the standard deviation of x plus y then we will have under the root variance of x plus variance of y plus 2 times covariance of x and y and if it is standard deviation of x minus y so it would be equal to under the root variance of x plus variance of y minus 2 times covariance of x and y. So now as we are saying that variance of a constant is equal to 0, so as you all know that variance of x is equal to 1 over n summation x minus x bar whole square as we have already learned this in previous lecture. So uh, let's suppose x is equal to c and c is some constant, then so what would be the variance of c? So according to the formula it would be 1 over n summation here we are finding the variance of x so it is coming x here and in this case we are finding the variance of c so we will have c here and minus again we also have minus here x bar it means mean of the variable for which you are finding the standard deviation or variance so as we are finding the variance of c here so here we should have the variance uh, mean of the c and you all know that x bar is equal to summation x over n so what would be the mean of the c it would be summation c over n whole square now what would be the result it would be equal to 1 over n summation c and as c is a constant so this would be like this summation 1 over n into c whole square now this would be equal to uh, 1 over n summation c minus as we already know summation 1 as i is equal to 1 to n So this would be equal to 1 plus 1 up to so on we will add it n times. So this would be equal to again 1 and this would be equal to n. So I wrote here n, n over n into c whole square and this n will cancel out with this n. So you will left with 1 over n summation i c minus c whole square is equal to 0. So here we have proved mathematically as well that variance of a constant is always equal to 0. Now let's suppose that we are finding the variance of a into x. So what I will do, I will replace this x with a into x. So according to the this formula, this would be a into x minus a into x bar whole square and this would be equal to 1 over n. I can take out common this a and I can take it out from the bracket and summation will not affect it as we know that this is a constant. So it would be 1 over n a square summation x minus x bar whole square. 
which would be equal to a square summation x minus x bar whole square over n. So this is the variance of the variable x as you already seen here. So this would be equal to variance of a into x is equal to a square into variance of x. So this is the way to mathematically prove that the uh, variance is affecting by the change of the scale. Rest of the properties can also be proved in a similar way. You can prove it mathematically as well uh, and numerically as well. How you can do it numerically? Just take some variable x and uh, multiply it with some constant a. You can take as any variable uh, of some observations and take some constant. It could be any constant 5, 10, 15, anything uh, you can imagine for a constant which is fixed and just to use this property and find out that left hand side will be equal to right hand side. Now this task is up to you that how you will prove this property numerically as we have already discussed this thing in the properties of the mean where we have proved that that uh, left hand side is equal to right hand side in the properties uh, here in this case similar method can be opt to prove these results.